this is Venus here. This is Venus here. You know, come to think of it, we don't really talk about Venus much. Stay cool. This is a Thor News presentation. Thor News presents... Okay, honestly, I don't even know what to say anymore. Uh-oh, they're coming to get me. Stop that man from talking about Venus. I ain't crazy. I'm sciencing for sure. Venus makes me want to party. What does Venus make you want to do? Hey girl, you're in my super rotation. Is that cool with you, Venus? Great news. We are talking about a swirling vortex at Venus's South Pole by Nancy at Kinson on January 1st, 21, 2015. Now this is very exciting. If you're new to astronomy at Thor News, let me tell you why it's exciting. We don't know shit about Venus, man. She is a total mystery. Hidden is her history. Even though it's almost the exact same size as Earth, and it's right next to Earth, we don't know much about her. Due to male-dominated sciences, war on women, they like to tell people, oh, it's covered in horrible stuff that kills everybody. We can't even send probes or landers there because Venus kills the probe or the lander. Maybe that's true, but it just means science is misogynist. <laughs> I'm just kidding, I made that up. I should have mixed stuff up because the really serious people who don't have a sense of humor and in place of that have a stick up their butt, they will get mad, down thrums the video, and walk away angry. We don't want to offend them. Here's the latest view of the mass of swirling gas and clouds at Venus's South Pole. The Venus Express's visible and infrared thermal imaging spectrometer, Virtus, has been keeping an eye on this polar vortex since the spacecraft arrived and discovered this huge storm in 2006. During the mission, Virtus has seen the vortex constantly transform, morphing from a double vortex into a squashed shape and into the eye-like structure seen here. I'm going to use a suspicious observer's quote. Spectroscopy doesn't lie. I don't know about that, but I was just quoting the man. But definitely, there's one thing we've learned here. It's that Venus is a McDLT. And what McDLTs do is they keep the hot side hot, and the cool side cool. Once again, I guess they're trying to imply that women are stubborn. Man, those guys are jerks. And so she's got the hot side and the cool side. I'm guessing the hot side is sun facing. That would make the most sense. And the cool side is earth facing. And they look like two completely different halves. Which is pretty weird. You know, a while back I did an image search on Venus. It's been hours. I surprised at how few good Venus images there are. Venus is a mystery. But then all women are a mystery to me, really. Venus is a very choppy and fast-moving atmosphere, even though wind speeds are much slower at the planet's surface. At the cloud tops, about 70 kilometers above the surface, winds can reach 400 kilometers per hour. At this altitude, Venus' atmosphere spins about 60 times faster than the planet itself. The planet itself, compared to Earth, this is a dizzying speed. Even Earth's farthest winds move at most about 30% of our planet's rotational speed. All right, note to self. Don't let Earth move closer to the sun. Or it'll get windier. The pole vortices form when heated air from equatorial latitudes rise and spirals towards the poles, carried by the fast winds as the air converges on the pole and then sinks into the drink. Don't blink or you might miss it. High velocity winds spin westward around the planet and take just four days to complete a rotation. This super rotation, combined with the natural recycling of hot air in the atmosphere provided by NASA, would induce the formation of a vortex structure over each pole. Hey girl, you're in my super rotation. Is that cool with you, Venus? I should date a planet. That way I can date someone more my speed. Date someone your own size. Okay, I'll date Venus. A video of the vortex made from 10 images over a period of five hours can be seen here. The vortex rotates with a period of around 44 hours. 
So it's kind of like Venus is on uppers. Mars is on downers. And Earth is just right. I think that's how the three little bears tail went. Am I right? Venus makes me want to party. What does Venus make you want to do? Now we're over at the ESA. Looking at the eye of the hurricane. Twirling through my brain. Just like a dancing flag girl. And there's one person out there that's like, man, I hate it when he sings. And I'm like, hate only leads to the dark side. Almost looks like it's trying to form a triangle. <clears throat> it's like everything in the universe is geometric shapes or some shit. I love you, Venus. Yes, I love you. Oh, I love you. Yeah, I love you. I love you. Do I have any female viewers out there? Or is it all dudes? Just curious. Let me know if you're female in the comments below. And even if you're on the internet female, I guess that's good enough for me. Beggars can't be choosers. All right. This was a light, easy, free video about Venus showing that climate is changing all over the solar system. So we really got to cut down on our carbon emissions, man. <laughs> God bless everyone. Talk to you soon. Probably in four hours. And we have a lot of unanswered questions about Venus. Okay. Venus. Just like Maverick and Top Gun, I'm getting inverted on this one. And I'm flipping Donnie Down Thumbs, the bird. No, not the middle finger. An actual dove. I'm flipping him a dove in a way the dove will not get harmed. And maybe he can catch it as I zoom on by in my F-16. Looks like Venus broke. Comet Planet Venus. Yo, crazy. I ain't crazy. I'm sciencing for sure. Anyway, before you freak out, crap your pants, get all mad at me again. Somebody put out an APB for payphones. I think they've all been kidnapped. We don't really know much about Venus. Venus is a comet. That is the comet of the century. Venus is make-believe. See, they can't really take good photos of Venus because it's all volcanoes. And, and volcanoes don't photograph. Also, it's got a crappy atmosphere. And you can't really photograph crappy stuff. So we just kind of gave up on it. Like, forget you, man. It's why we don't talk about Venus much, even though it's basically Earth's twin. Everything is all Mars, 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 Mars. Forget about you, Venus. It's because you're female. That's why science doesn't pay attention to you. G?